So could the buyers in Rivian stock now be in panic mode? Uh, to me, they would be because of what occurred into the market in Rivian over the last couple of days after I did my video post video, the market in Rivian completely plummeted in price. So those buyers that we talked about on our last video, which was on October the 18th, they were not there anymore. They left the buyers that we talked about, which were here and the buyers that were here, they did not buy. They did not buy right here. The market in Rivian, when we did, when we did our price prediction, it went down 9% on the day. Now that's not necessarily the, the bad part. The bad part is, is that the next trading day on, on October the 19th, the market broke this area of support. The buyers definitely didn't show through. That's the bad part. The market is showing you their hands. If those buyers are not there at $18 in Rivian stock, we should not be there neither. So this price prediction that I created on October 18th did not go right. And I wanted to show you the reason why though. That's something that we cannot control because the market is fluid. Okay, you have some congregation of buyers at certain prices at certain times. Like that congregation of buyers was here on July the 3rd, the market ran higher. That congregation of buyers was here on October the 5th, market went higher, but only to $20. But they didn't show up the last time. They left. So this price prediction did not pan out right. So now what? Well, we should be not we should not be thinking bullish first of all. We should not be looking for price and rimming to go higher because this area was very important to hold for us to see Rivian run higher. Like I was looking just for the price to run up to this downtrend line. But instead of that, we got a breakage below $20. So now this area in Rivian is going to be resistance. Simple, right? Because that was the last spot that those sellers overcame the buyers in the market right there. So that's resistance now. So seeing the market in Rivian run up, we would expect it to get rejected again at 20 because those sellers are positioned there. So there's a lot of weakness pinning down Rivian stock price now. And you can see it on the chart from this downtrend line and now this resistance line. Sellers control the market right now in Rivian. Take a look on the two day chart. Okay. These two two day price bars is letting you know that the sellers can currently control price. It was a battle going on between the buyers and the sellers right here. But then this last two day price bar gave you the victory, it showed you who won. The sellers won. That's why the price currently is still going lower. Zooming out the chart, I think you guys may tell where we may find the next batch of buyers. Okay. Look like it's around $15.50, 15 bucks. That's on the three day chart. Take a look at Rivian on the three. This shows you who won. And this, this three day price bar goes in connection with this one to where we got that indicator of weakness. Rivian on the five. Here's Rivian on the wiki chart. This is even on the wiki time frame. Weekly time frame, it won't be a problem for the market to come down to fifteen dollars to fifteen dollars and fifty cents in Rivian. I'm just saying. The spreads of these weekly price bars is massive. It's not massive, but it's decent. Two weeks. Take a look at Rivian on the three. Like the chart's not lying. Look at that spread on the week three weekly chart for Rivian. It's almost about the same size. Eight dollars and six eight dollars and seventy cents spread there. And then you have another spread of this three weekly price bar of twelve dollars and seventy cents. So it's more than half the spread of this last three weekly price bar. Okay, 
So I think we got the gist. I mean, the market is weak in Rivian. We have to play what the market is actually exhibiting and displaying on the charts. So looking for the price in Rivian to go down. Okay. Now we know that $20 is resistance in Rivian. This area now could be resistance as well. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this downtrend line and we need to focus in on the resistance areas. So let's get to the targets. The first one is right here at $15 and like 65 cents or so. which is seven, almost 8% move lower right there. My second target in Rivian would be for price to come all the way down to like $14, which is 15.88% there. Earnings is coming up. So expect this time, November the 7th, to play on the price action. So we'll see how low market is going to go in Rivian leading up to the earnings. And then we might see a small spurt move higher because it is so oversold, meaning that it went down too fast, too soon. Okay. So let's see what happens. I'm finished. Give me your thoughts. Hit the like button. Share, and also subscribe. Make sure you maintain the profitability. And as always, trade different.